Hello Scorpio, welcome to the channel. I hope you're all doing well and thank you for your likes, shares and subscribes. This is a timeless spirit message, so whenever you come across it, it's when you're meant to hear it. Please remember this is a general reading. If it doesn't resonate, you can look at your moon and rising signs for greater clarity. Okay. So we have breathe, breathe. Now you can see her, she's sitting on this... Um, She's sitting with lotus leaves and she's meditating. Lilies. She's meditating. Now, this is time to take time out for yourself here. It's time to relax. It's time to take a step back. It's time to be good for yourself, to yourself, pamper yourself. Do things you enjoy. Take a break. Take a step back, most definitely. Passion. Now, this is about things you're passionate about, you want to invest in. Anything. This could be a million different things. Whatever your goal is, whatever you're being drawn to do, you'll have an inkling about what this is. There might be a path you're being drawing down. You're being drawn down. It could be a college course. It could be a new job. It could be a skill you're developing, a new hobby. Whatever you. It could be a million different things for a million different people. This is a general reading, and we have got lapis lazuli, lapis lazuli. I hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Crystal, life-changing epithet and experience. It's a time of big and blessed change for you and God is supporting you each step of the way. So they want you to take time out. Sometimes spirit wants you to take a rest. They put you into rest mode to conserve your energy so that when the opportunities come forward or you start to invest in things, you've got the energy you need. Um, you've got the reserved energy so you can go forward with passion and gusto here. So this is definitely a time to relax. Um, before investing in something. Or you might as well, for some of you, don't be worrying about things. You know, relax. If there's new things you you're reach for here, don't worry about it. Relax. Things work out. Things take their natural course here. Spirit, please show me clearly the message. The Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful. Seven of Wands. Two of Cups. Beautiful temperance card. Things are working out, do you see? The overall central energy is eight of cups. <laughs> that's why that's why we've got relax here. The King of Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. The Eight of Wands, fast moving energy. And the Four of Cups. Now what we've got here is we've got somebody here who looks bored. They look bored, they're being presented with things that maybe are not impressing you. You're not impressed. You've managed to achieve a certain amount of happiness here, but things aren't, aren't you know, impressing you now. You're bored, you're fed up. Now, this can also be that you're not seeing your blessings because you're missing out on blessings. But the overall central energy here is the, the Eight of Cups. And the, the Eight of Cups, you can see here, is needing to look for something new. It's like he's hit a glass ceiling with something. So something's lost its luster. So it could be your job, it could be your relationship, it could be where you're living, it, you know, it could be where, it could be a million things. It could be your friendships, you're maybe needing to meet new friends, broaden your friendships, you know, meet new people, it could be a million different things. But whatever this is, if this message is for you, there's something here you've hit a glass ceiling with and you know there's something missing. You're, there's something in your life missing and you need to look for this cup here. So it's it's very difficult to see your blessings because you're going to have to leave something behind here to find this cup. Now, what we're saying here is you need to take time out to relax. Don't worry about this. Meditate, ground yourself because this is about your independence for some of you are being independent minded. Now, it can be there's something you're passionate about. You could be leaving a relationship to go to another one. Uh, this could be the singles card. It could be your relationship to become single. Now, you don't have to be single to be independent-minded. It can be that you've got a dream or a goal for yourself here. And what Spirit's saying is rest, recuperate, listen to your intuition here, be honest with yourself about what's missing in your life, and take the steps to go towards finding that ninth cup, your contentment here. Now, it's always good to ground yourself, take time out, be, be gentle to yourself at this time, pamper yourself, feel good about what you do have.
before you look forward and be healed before you go forward to make decisions. Because this card here is somebody who's got a dream or a passion and somebody who wants to go for this goal. Now, this is a very well-balanced energy. She's somebody who is in a very well-balanced place. She's healed, she's rested, she makes good decisions. It helps her make good decisions. She creates great harmony in her life because she knows how much to invest of herself into people's situations and environments. Now, she's a young empress, so she creates beautiful things. She's got well-balanced relationships. She enjoys finances. So she's enjoying life. She's enjoying life and her confidence is high because of that and her self-esteem is high. When people look at her, they know, and I'm saying to her it's not a gender-specific reading, obviously, they know that she's capable of creating great things. So she becomes a very attractive prospect for people. Very attractive prospect. So this is a life-changing thing. There's, it's saying here, life-changing empathy. You've got this inclination. You're getting drawn down the, this new path. It's time for big and blessed change for you and you're being supported. So it's time to make changes and go towards your own contentment, your happiness here. Now, this is about standing your ground, being determined. You've gained enough knowledge. Um, there's a determination about this. Being determined to find that missing cup. Being determined to follow your dreams here is definitely on the cards. But you've learned enough um, to give you the upper hand. And this is about finding happiness and balance. Now, this could be a new relationship. It could be a Cancer, Pisces or Scorpio energy. It could be new friendships coming into your life, like I said earlier. Um, new people, new support networks, new people you're meeting because you're prepared to um, go down a path you enjoy and it brings new people into your life. This could also be you connecting in with your higher self, listening to your intuition, following it, going after your dreams here and being prepared, finding this beautiful emotional balance and contentment in your life. And, you know, this could be your ninth cup here. You're here and this is your ninth cup. So it's going to bring beautiful balance. This is all emotional. It's investing, but it's about emotional energy. You're feeling happy. You're passionate about what you're investing in, who you're investing in. You're passionate about what you're investing your money in, how you're balancing your books, whatever it may be for you. Uh, you might be that you're Deciding you need a financial plan and things will work out and it's a better balanced way of life for you and you're getting more contentment in how you're dealing with things. Now, we do have the Knight of Pentacles, which is why I'm mentioning, um, and we have the, the, sorry, the Knight of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles, and it's why I'm mentioning work, money, finances, relationships, because Pentacles are anything that's challengeable. And we need to look at things and we have to be sure that what we're investing in is, is true and making us happy. So we need to look at the details here. Could be looking at finances, gathering information here, making long-term commitments to things that we enjoy, uh, taking baby steps, looking at the details of things to bring the changes in, making sure if we're signing up for things that we know, look at the details and we look at dot our I's and stroke our T's. And it's about making long-term commitments to things that are going to make us happy, that we're passionate about here. Um, so don't beat yourself up if there's something going on that's, you know, that's hit a glass ceiling that's not pleasing you anymore. This is just spirit guiding you onto a new path. It's making you look at things. It's wanting you to come into your own, be single minded. Think about where you're putting your, your efforts, who you're investing in and what you're investing in. Because the Nine of Pentacles, she's somebody who makes good judgments. She puts the work in. She benefits from the fruits of her labour. She looks at the details. She's very careful and meticulous when she goes forward. Sometimes you see her holding on to a certain amount of pentacles and you see the other three in the traditional tarot deck. And what she's doing there is she knows how much effort to put in, how much finances she wants to hold back, how much she wants to spend. It's all that type of energy. It's well-balanced energy in any area of your life. Your long-term hard work will pay off and the balance will be restored. You will find balance and harmony in your life again. So there'll be very fast moving energy once you decide to have this plan, to make this plan, to look at the details of things, to be honest with yourself about what's missing, to be independent minded, make the necessary adjustments, well-balanced adjustments, being determined here to stick to your boundaries, stick to your goals, be determined to bring the balance in. And there'll be very fast moving energy forward. Now, this could be you if you're looking for new jobs. This could be uh, a Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy bringing you opportunities of employment, for example. There could be emails and texts coming in. Um, 
that type of thing as well. Or it could be you moving home, moving jobs, moving country, forward moving energy. It could also be you taking a break or a holiday, like we said earlier, to gain clarity and to move away towards, uh, to move away from this discontentment that you're feeling at this moment in time and this boredom. Okay, it will help you. It will help you see the blessings again that can you can be yours. So we need to make changes here, definitely. Something's lost its appeal now. We've hit a glass ceiling. Change is needed. Inspiration. Inspiration. A new idea has come to you like a gentle whisper inside your heart. Listen and take action. This is inspired from high above. So you've been, you've been drawn down a certain path. I hope this helps. Please like, share and subscribe and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye.